In this video, I want to review the improvements in import and export for files in Pro Tools 2020.11. This is of particular importance for Pro Tools on Mac OS Catalina or for Windows users without QuickTime installs. First, let's have a quick review of specifically Catalina compatibility in Pro Tools. In Pro Tools 2019.12, we released a version of Pro Tools able to launch on Catalina. Previous versions were not compatible with changes in the OS. This release, while fully functional with audio, had video import of only MXF encoded files. In Pro Tools 2020.3, Pro Tools was able to import a wider range of video file formats, including H.264, but was unable to extract the audio from these files. Starting with import, Pro Tools 2020 will now directly import video and audio from QuickTime files, such as MOV, MP4, in supported codecs and non-DRM protected M4Vs with either uncompressed or AAC audio. As in previous versions, simply dragging and dropping the file or using the video import option will present a dialog where audio can be optionally imported. Additionally, AAC audio from M4A and AAC files can now be directly imported. MXF OP Atom encoded video and audio will import as in previous versions often used for a media wrapper in AAF files. However, in this release, import of both video and audio of MXF OP1A in supported formats has been added. It's recommended to use the video import option in the case of MXF encoded files. For video export, we have taken the decision to present the work to date in a public beta. The current state doesn't represent all the file and export types we are working towards, but at Avid we felt it was important to return some critical functionality and concentrated on the fastest path to cover the most common workflows. Within the new Bounce Mix window, an option for MOV, public beta, will be available if you have a video file on the timeline. When selecting this option, the following dialog will be displayed outlining the current export functions. Beta Notice we are incrementally adding support of our new QuickTime functionality, which allows for bounce support on macOS Catalina and above. We will be adding more functionality in an upcoming release, but wanted to share our latest progress with you. This beta allows you to do the following. Transcode to new files, transcode speed improvements, PCM audio export of mono, stereo, 5.1 and 7.1 channel widths. Within the video tab, you'll see that the same as source and replace timecode track are grayed out. This is to represent we intend on returning these features as soon as possible, but aren't yet available. Transcode will allow you to select DNX HD, DNX HR, Apple ProRes, and H.264 depending on the video file raster or size, and each file type has options for compression or encoding. It's worthwhile noting, as it's a transcode, you will need to allow some time for the file to process. For Pro Tools users on a supported earlier Mac OS, High Sierra or Mojave for example, will still have the Bounce to QuickTime option and the same functionality. This will allow users to work as they have, but also try the new functionality within the Bounce Mix window to help decide about computer or OS upgrades in a manageable way. While we've tried to cover the most frequently used formats for import and tried to assist with the most frequent export workflows, there may be some files that don't import or export as expected. As we continue to return, improve and add functionality, there may be occasion where tools such as Shutter Encoder or Video Slave may be needed to convert and create files if your workflow hasn't yet been addressed with these updates. Shutter Encoder can replace the audio of an existing video file which may be an expedient alternative to transcoding. Similarly, Video Slave can export its current timeline along with its other useful features. For details of supported codecs for import and export, as well as information related to video file support, please visit the page at Pro Tools Catalina File Type Support, which we are regularly updating. For Pro Tools users for which video is an important aspect, we thank you for your patience and hope that this is a meaningful and helpful update as we continue to work on the video functionality in Pro Tools.